do a little work with the more bushcraft. This knife I really like. As soon as I put it in my hand, <clears throat> you feel a lot of difference. You can find, you can definitely feel why this costs more than the other ones as soon as you put it in your hand. A lot more thought has been put into the design of the handle. It's much more ergonomic. It's got a nice curve to it, which really fits your hand quite well. It's well beveled, I suppose is what you want to say, around the finger groove. Um, it's been beveled in to make it nice and comfortable. It's got a bigger finger choil, which kind of makes you feel a lot safer. It locks your finger in better than it does on the more companions. Um, all in all, this handle is just excellent. Uh, the knife itself, this is a carbon steel again. This one's been coated. I'm not sure what coating they use. Um, to be honest with you, it almost looks like a bluing. Or it looks like they've forced a patina on it or something. Because it's not like a paint. It's not black like a thick black paint. It's just blacked out ever so slightly. Um, like I said, once I forced a patina on a knife with uh, using vinegar, boiling vinegar and putting the knife in that. It looks a lot like that's what's been done to this knife, but I'm not honestly sure how they did it. Uh, but it is cool, got this all black blade, makes it look a little more tactical. Um, well, let's see how the thing performs. Where's my uh, stick here? Right through it like butter. A little thicker one. Once again, got a little bit of a twist in it. That's probably me. Um, oh, that's not it. It's over here. You can see that it cut all the way through that. That did not break off. Absolutely no bend to it. That's impressive.
don't see any damage to the tip. I'd say if you want to get yourself a survival knife, quote unquote, a good bushcrafting knife at any rate, uh, I'd go with either one of these two, either the more bushcraft or the more MG heavy duty. Um, they both seem to perform just as well as one another. As far as comfort in the hand. I got to give it to the bushcraft. Bushcraft has a bit of a wider blade, as you can see as well. You got more steel there. So as far as like the lifetime of the blade and sharpening it, you got a lot more steel to go through. Um, if you take a look at the finger coils, this seems like a safer blade. If you look at that, it's just got like a little plastic nub. I can definitely see, especially wearing gloves, your finger slipping out over that blade. And you do not want that to happen because this blade is razor sharp and it'll cut right through your finger. Um, so not only does it have this, just a small nub compared to this choil, it's also plastic and it's not grippy here. The grip stops, the handle has this nice grip like this one does, but right here where honestly, where you really want a lot of safety, where you really want a lot of grip, um, it's quite smooth plastic. Where on the Bushcraft, your rubberized handle, let's call it, goes all the way out to the end um, I definitely feel a lot more secure with this one in my hand um, this one's is a bit I don't know this one's comfortable as well but I definitely feel that this one's more comfortable um, so my choice if you're willing to spend let's say around $35 for a knife I'd go ahead and get the Bushcraft series. Um, if you're on a budget and you want to stay under $20 for a knife that's going to work really well for you, um, I've got no problems whatsoever recommending the more MG Heavy Duty. It seems like a